Hey guys, welcome to my channel. So today I'm just going to be doing a video on the Make It Forever Metal Palette in the size extra large. So I recently ordered this palette after stocking it on the Sephora website for probably, probably like six months. Have they had it that long? Well, pretty much ever since I found out they had this palette, I've been stocking it. And I'm sure a lot of other people have been stocking it because it's constantly been out of stock for pretty much forever. So I received an email, I think it was a week or so ago, an email saying that the palette was in stock. I went, I looked at the website, and to my surprise, it was actually there because the first time I received the email, I went and it was gone. So the palette was there, I ordered three of them, and this video is just to show you guys what it looks like, um, give you a little insight on the size, because it is hard to imagine the size of the palette just by looking on the website and looking at the dimensions, and just to give you a few pros and cons. So this is what the Makeup Forever Metal Palette in the size extra large looks like, and it is pretty big. I'm going to compare it to a normal, well this is a dome size, but um, Z palette. So as you can see, it is a little bit taller and definitely a little bit longer than a Z palette. But that is one thing that I really like about this palette because I have a lot of the Make Forever Art shadows and I wanted to be able to fit more shadows in a palette. This Dome Z palette fits only 15 Make It Forever Artist shadows, which I guess that's pretty good because the shadows are pretty big, but I wanted something that fitted more of my shadows since I do have over 30. 30? I might have close to 40. 30. I have, I have 30 plus Make It Forever Artist shadows, and I wanted to be able to fit more in a palette instead of carrying around two Z palettes, I can just carry around this. All right, so this is the inside of the palette, and these are some of my Makeup Forever Artist shadows, as you can see. And the palette did come with a little clear film to put on top, and this foam piece that goes right on top of the clear film, just to cushion your eyeshadows for travel or anything like that. So this palette, it fits about 28, well, not about. It fits 28 of the Makeup Forever Artist shadows in it. As you can see, this is 28 of the shadows, whereas the Z palette only fit about 15. The magnet on this palette is pretty strong. I can shake it and none of the shadows fall over. I know that is a problem with the MAC, the new MAC palettes, the small ones that they have. The magnet isn't really that strong. It doesn't really even hold like the MAC eyeshadows that well. Cause I had, I've had that palette for a while and I don't carry any shadows in it because I know as soon as I tip that thing over, you know, the shadows are gonna fall out. So the magnet on this is pretty strong. It holds a lot of shadows. And I can honestly say that I'm very, very, very satisfied with this palette, although it is rather large, but that was the whole purpose of me wanting this palette. The only, only, only drawback about this palette that I don't like is that it is made out of tin. While I do like the look and the design of the palette, I feel like if I were to set maybe anything else, <laughs> if I were to set anything on top of the palette, it would cave in. So I'm just being sure to be extra careful and not put anything on top of the palette. But other than that, that is my only con for this palette. The quality is great. It's, it's pretty sturdy and it holds a lot of eyeshadows. Another plus or pro for this palette is that it only costs $14. Yes, $14 for this huge palette. Whereas this palette from Z Palette which is the large dome size palette costs 25 bucks. So this 14 and this 25. So really you're saving $11 here and you're getting more space with this. So this palette can be found, like I said, on Sephora.com, but it is always sold out. But if you wanna get this palette, you can order it directly from the Makeup Forever website. 
as I may have stated earlier, but I'm not sure. But you can order directly from the Makeup Forever website, and they also have other sizes. So I believe they have a small, a medium, a large, and this extra large size that range in price. And $14 is pretty much the most expensive one of these metal palettes. And yeah, so if you want to get that, be sure to go on the Makeup Forever website and order this palette or any other size. This is, like I said, the extra large Makeup Forever metal palette. So basically, that's that's all I have to say. I love this palette, and thank you for watching. If you enjoyed my video, please be sure to like it and to leave me a comment below telling me which palette you like better, the Makeup Forever palette or the Z palette. And be sure to be sure to subscribe. Thank you guys for watching again. Enjoy the rest of your day. Bye.